summer is a very important period for players and clubs. The whole football world dives into transfers and rumors, but sometimes, against the background of costly moves, we forget about those players of our favorite clubs who spent the previous season on loan. To correct this injustice, we will talk about the five players who shined last season as loanees and are now ready to play at the highest level. Before we start, spend a second to hit the subscribe button and help our channel grow. Let's kick off! Number 5. Kurt Zuma Kurt Zuma can be hardly named a young talent, as he will turn 25 this October. Next season will be Zuma's last chance to gain a foothold at Chelsea's side, but he has a perfect opportunity to do this. First, Andreas Christensen spent a crumpled year, while Chelsea does not show much zeal to keep the Dane. Secondly, Gary Cahill left the team, and the defense of the Blues lasts not only in quantity, but also in height. Thirdly, Zuma has been a player of the starting 11 before, and if not for the terrible injury, then someone from the current Chelsea defenders would not have been signed at all. Despite the fact that Antonio Rudiger and David Luiz remain important elements of the defensive line, Zuma returns to give battle. Of course, Everton will be happy to sign Zuma permanently, but Chelsea should not make their famous mistake again. Number 4. Kieran Dowell the talented midfielder Kieran Dowell played at Everton occasionally, and last winter he left to seek practice at Sheffield United. In the new team, he did not disappoint and helped the Blades to win promotion to the Premier League. Dowell has a rich arsenal of skills and can play as a pure number 10. England's national U21 fans have already seen Kieran in action. The only obstacle for the Everton's talent is the presence of Gilfie Sigurdsson and Bernard, who firmly hold on to their positions. But how else can a young player get through to the pitch if not competing with the best? Number 3. Axel Tuanzebe In the season 2016 and 2017, Axel Tuanzebe put on Man United shirt several times, but did not impress the fans then. However, Aston Villa fans have a different opinion about Axel. They liked him very much, and the villains would definitely consider such a reinforcement after their return to the elite but the young centre-back is already looking towards the starting eleven of the Devils. After such a disastrous season, Man United will consider every option, and Axel is well aware of his chances given that Eric Bailly is ruled out again due to the knee injury, while Smalling and Raha cannot keep a stable level during a long distance. We'll be surprised if Zulcher lets Axel go for another loan. Number 2. Tammy Abraham Transfer ban has shackled Chelsea's hands, but at the same time, it presents additional bonuses for young players. Last season, Tammy Abraham became the hero of Aston Villa. His 26 goals in 40 games played an important role in promoting the club to the Premier League. In other words, Tammy would be in demand this summer, even if Chelsea did not get banned. Today, his competitors by the position are aged Olivier Giroud and wandering Mishi Batshuayi. We do not consider Morata, as there is no parallel universe in which Chelsea would consider a recall of the Spaniard. Abraham is incredibly talented, and any Premier League middle peasant will easily promise him a starting spot. In such a situation, Temi can not only hope for the starting 11 spot, but also can dictate his conditions to the club. Most likely, this is exactly what the parties are doing right now, and after extending the agreement on the improved conditions, the Blues fans will surely see Abraham in the first matches of the season. Number 1. Harry Wilson Fans love when their club's own graduates demonstrate promising progress. For this reason, Liverpool hopes that Harry Wilson will become their new star. Last season, Wilson constantly scored for Derby and showed himself to be an excellent performer of standard situations. Perhaps Wilson has not yet grown to the level of the first team and should improve ball control skills, but releasing him for another loan would hamper his current progress. Harry Wilson is able to help the first team next season, while additional competition in the attacking line will benefit such players as Shakiri. Recently, the news media have spread rumors that Liverpool is supposedly ready to sell Wilson for £21 million. But frankly speaking, it would be at least silly to believe that the genius of Jurgen Klopp will sell a young player who scored 16 goals during the season, seven of which came from the outside of the penalty area. 
Of course, these are not the only players returning to their parent clubs who deserve their chance in the first team. Whom would you like to add to this list? Please share your suggestions in the comment section. Meanwhile, do not forget to subscribe to Football Geeks as our next episode is in the making. And you should also consider watching other videos which are suggested on the screen. We'll see you soon!